Today, I am reviewing the Honer Pentaharp. It is a new harmonica released by Honer in a alternate tuning to make it easier to play. So, Honer's tagline here, guitar players love it and harmonica players hate it. Is it true? Well, today I'm gonna test that because I'm both. I've been playing guitar much longer than harmonica, and on top of that, I have been messing around with alternate tunings on both instruments extensively for years. In this video, I am going to help you understand what the pentaharp is, what it isn't, and if this harmonica is right for you. Hey guys, my name is Jonah Fox, let's get into it. First, this harmonica is essentially a Honer Special 20. It is currently priced at $45 US, and that's okay. Honer Special 20s are really solid harmonicas. This one that I got was not set up very well, but you will probably have a better experience than me, and at least I know how to fix it, and if you don't know, I talked about it in last week's video. This harmonica is very differently tuned than Richter, which is harmonica's standard default tuning. It's set up so you can play a blues scale in first position, which means the root note of the scale starts on a blow, and then it continues going blow, then draw, all the way up until it repeats. And those notes form a blues scale. The good news is that you don't need to learn how to bend to play blues and rock solos. They even have a fancy website for converting guitar tabs to harp. That's pretty useful. We can all agree that bending is hard. And this takes it out of the equation and simplifies things. And it's pretty intuitive. The notes are pretty easy to find and they repeat in each octave, which is definitely nice. Take a listen. So in Richter, you can play a blues scale in what we call cross harp or second position. And this does require some tricky bends and the scale doesn't translate well to the high octave, especially compared to the pentaharp, without more advanced techniques like overblows. It's harder, no doubt, but it also sounds good and it feels natural. So here's the blues scale. It sounds cooler. I, I just am going to be real with you. There's a reason why the bends are a key part of harmonica playing, because they sound really cool and they add a lot of nuance and subtlety that like the pentaharp just doesn't have. And, you know, if you really want to avoid bends, you know, this isn't even the whole story. You can play a blue scale in third position. which only includes one easy bend. So it's not like the pentaharp makes everything so much easier compared to Richter, because if you're a little bit more knowledgeable, you'll realize that you don't even need to play those difficult bends until you're ready for them. There are some positives about this harmonica, but I think you should really be aware of the negatives. Okay, compared to Richter tune harmonicas, where you get the nice major chords, <laughs> and some cool double stops. There's really no usable chords on the pentaharp. You can play some octaves by putting your tongue in the middle. And they are easier to get than on a Richter harmonica, but it doesn't make up for the fact that most of the normal chords are not that fun to play with. And it takes a giant part out of what harmonica is when you don't have those chords to go to. I think my biggest issue with the pentaharp is the sharp four note. So listen. That note. On pentaharp, it has its own hole. The problem is, is that note, the blue note, if you will, is a passing tone. You don't hold that note, you move through it. And because it's there, it makes all the chords super ugly, it makes trills pointless, and it's just kind of awkward. And while there are bends, They're just not on especially useful notes. And you know that cool trill harmonica players do, the 
it just doesn't sound good on this thing, okay? So there's a bunch of things that harmonica players are used to that you really just can't do on this instrument. So let's go revisit the tagline, okay? Will guitarists love this? Well, it's easier, that's for sure. However, this does assume that guitar players don't like a challenge, which we do, so that's just flat out wrong. Also, why is harmonica really cool? It's the bends, it's the chords, it's the trills, it's that gritty, bluesy growl. This thing doesn't have any of that. It sounds kind of sterile in comparison. If you don't play harp and you want a new toy to mess around with, in that case, I guess it's a decent choice, but just be aware if you enjoy it, you're probably gonna have to start at the beginning if you wanna take it seriously or just buy a different model of harmonica. It's a harmonica, it's not a guitar. It's not like any guitarist will pick this up and immediately be able to play. It will still take a few days to weeks to months to develop the control and the breath support to play this thing. It's a wind instrument. So remember what I said about chords? Besides missing them, you have to be really accurate with your embouchure or your mouth position, which in my opinion holds new players back much more than bending. On a Richter tuned harmonica, you can just kind of play and then kind of tighten it up down the road. But on this harmonica, you gotta be very accurate right from the beginning for it to just not sound bad. All right, I'm not done, but before we continue, would you give this video a like? It helps me out, thanks so much. How about harmonica players? Will you hate it? Actually, I don't think so. It can be fun as a novelty, just know that it doesn't really play to the harmonica's strengths. The trills don't work. The chords, they're not that good. You got octaves, but that's it. The bends that are there are okay, I guess. I don't know, I can see myself enjoying this if I don't compare it to Richter and just let it be its own thing. It's actually okay to mess around on. If you want a more fun tuning though, I suggest these. Spiral tuning for cool chords and simplicity. Natural minor for a darker sound and a familiar layout. Wild tuning for that sweet octave bend. Country tuning for a full major scale in second position, and power bender and blues bender for some serious versatility. I will link all of these tunings down below. If you are thinking about getting a new harp, why don't you, instead of getting this, watch my video up here and see my suggestions for my top 10 harmonicas in Richter tuning. I go over my favorites, so if you are looking to get a new harp or even get started for the first time, then that video will help you make a more informed decision. See you next time. Peace.